the chat sometimes behave, not even sometimes, the chat behaves like a million. And I can prove you guys. In this video, I want to show you crazy uh, happenings in the market. Today, you will think the market is buying. Tomorrow, it sells. By the time you're getting into sales, they change, they buy. So it's like a chameleon. And that's why you have been finding that anytime you do place a buy trade, the market does not buy, it sells. The time you decide now, let me sell, the market buys on you. So let me show you what I mean by that. And we'll be using daily time frame, weekly and four hour. So first of all, if you want to know how the market keeps changing, uh, you have to use multiple time frame because if you only use one time frame, you'll be short-sighted. You will trade what you're seeing. And you remember in this channel, I teach you how to trade the unseen. So if you are um, ready to learn how the charts behave like a chameleon, or you have been wondering, by the way, why do I buy and the market sell on me? Why do I sell? What is it that I'm not seeing in the market? Watch this video to the end. If you're still interested to buy my course, it's a thousand dollars, 10 profitable strategy. Use the number to WhatsApp me. If you want one strategy, you can still WhatsApp me for one strategy. Anyway, guys, if you open these charts, uh, this is daily time frame. What structure do we have? We have three types of structures, three types of market structures, three types of market structure. So what structure do we have? So number one, we have a structure that is uptrend. We have a downtrend and we have a ranging. Ranging, you can say, is either sideways or something. So uptrend is so simple, is when the market is going up. That is what we call uptrend. And uptrend, who is in control? Buyers. Downtrend, on the other side, is when the market is going down. Who is in control? Sellers. So sellers are representation of red candles. And it doesn't mean because the sellers are there, we don't have green candles. No, it's just that sellers are the ones dominating. The ranging or the sideways is when both sellers and buyers are at the same strength. The market seems to favor nobody. So this is the ranging market. So you see, before even you start analyzing, did you know that there are three types of market structure? Are you having that knowledge? Are you even aware which structure are you facing? Because if I open my chart, I need to know what am I facing? Yes, this has been an uptrend, but it's no longer an uptrend. The market has, has finished to be an uptrend and we have entered a ranging or sideways structure. If I was analyzing and the market was here, I would have said, this is a downtrend. So, but here, this is a ranging market. You can see the market has ranged. So that's what I need to let you understand. Anytime you open your chart, you have first to understand if it is a ranging, an uptrend, uh, what do you do? So majority of time, if we have a, an uptrend, we'll be waiting for the market to, to break and retest. Once the market will retest, we can either use patterns like double bottom, um, we can use double bottom that are OPT. On the daily here, you may not find an, a double bottom, but if you go to lower time frame, you may find double bottom so that you can continue buying. So that is one way of trading uptrend market. And I will show you, I think I will do a video of trading an uptrend, a video trading an, a downtrend. But this video, we are starting with the ranging. So when it comes to ranging, guys, how do you trade a ranging market? So if a market is ranging like this, how do we trade it? A ranging market or a sideways market, what it has in common, it has the same resistance and the same support. So we are saying that this market is neither breaking resistance nor support. So what we do, we measure this distance of where the market range is. And we say, if the market uh, breaks above, it will go that distance. If it breaks below, it will go that distance. So this is what we have in mind. If it breaks above, we, it goes that distance. If it breaks below, if it will go that distance. So anytime you have a ranging market, this is how you analyze, like you prepare yourself in advance. So it's either it is breaking up like that, or it is breaking below. 
So when, when you find the market has broken a range, you buy, you can first buy the first half distance that is TP1. So anytime a ranging market has two take profit, it has take profit one and it has take profit two. Take profit one and take profit two. So you can understand anytime you see a ranging market, this is the strategy. Guys, this is the strategy to use. But now I want to let you understand that once you see a ranging market, the market may not actually hit even TP1 or TP2 because the charts are like a million. They will keep changing. Once now everyone agrees is a ranging and it has broken, the market can uh can can change. So what you need to understand, yes, you have known this is the you can even uh screenshot this image. This is a, a ranging channel a structure or a setup or how you trade it. But if you, this, the, it has an entry. An entry is break of BOS, break of, not BOS, B-O-R, break of resistance. So break of resistance is what will give us an entry. Break of resistance is what gives us an entry. So that is our resistance. So break of resistance is our entry strategy. Strategy. Remember, guys, we said target strategy. How do we do target strategy? Our target strategy is half. So this is TP1. This is TP1. And we have TP2. So already you have where you are targeting. You have the entry. Now, what is remaining is the exit. Yes, you, you are cool, everything is fine, but how will you exit? If the market is going up, let's say this candle breaks, it's a green candle and it breaks up. The only way you exit if sellers become stronger than you expected. So let's say the market starts to come up, even it hit your first take profit, but here it starts to range, it gives you a red candle, and then all of a sudden it gives you a green candle. So we have a range like that. And this range creates a what? A support. If the market starts to break below, that is your exit because the market has violated. So that's the exit of a ranging market. We don't want the market, the sellers being powerful. Any ranging market, we want the sellers, the buyers to be powerful, not the sellers. So let's con let's start uh, with this ranging. So this is a very, very clear ranging. The market was ranging like that. So that was our ranging. What have we said? Uh, we have said, anytime you spot a ranging, the market will either go up or down. So this market can go up that distance or can go down. You see? So we have that. So we have that is ranging. And you see how I'm taking time to analyze that ranging. It's, that's the exactly way you are supposed to do. Now, the problem with majority of people, they think once they do this and the market breaks, it's automatically it will hit TP1 and TP2. It's not a must, guys. Imagine it's not a must. It's not a must because you even don't know if it will even break. So we are only predicting. We are not even telling you for sure the market will, will go to TP, uh, TP2 or even TP1. So this is exactly what I want you. Anytime you see a ranging, at least this is a good place to start with. You have analyzed like that and now you wait. And because this is daily, you just be coming every single day to, to look. Just come after every day to check. So we come after one day. Has it broken? No, it has not. We come the second day. Do we have a breaking? Yes. So because we have a breaking here, we are 
praying and hoping the market will go to this uh to this tp1 and guys i understand in my in my mentorship program we trade we don't trade patterns any longer because i am now giving patterns information on youtube i have advanced other ways of trading so once you buy my course you won't come to learn this because of course i'm giving this in public so uh once the market breaks and you decide i will buy up to tp1 that's what you have decided let's see how this trade will go so that is 121 pips so you have you have said they have broken resistance they have to go up so the question is will they hit tp1 that is the question and we said we don't want to see sellers coming in like we don't want to see sellers coming in and breaking this area if they break there it means sellers have taken control so you'll be on the lookout okay so the next day so the market starts to give you money and the first candle of exit is this one this candle is called an indecision candle i teach this in the class this indecision candle tells you that the market doesn't even understand what it wants to do indecision candles are one of one candles that tell us just exit that market just exit one day the market gave you 23 pips but it seems it doesn't want to continue up so that is the first exit red flag like you have been told come out close the trade so we have an indecision candle so anytime you see this indecision candle and you're buying it doesn't matter the color it can be green it can be red just exit the trade let's continue to see if that exiting candle was right so you might think they have forgotten i've told you the market makers the market is like a chameleon so the market is like a chameleon and they will try to to block you so they have given you an exit but they have already gone back with 38 pips so after they have given you an indecision candle the market has continued with 24 pips so what majority will do they will start saying oh why did they give me an exit candle and uh, and now the market is going up after now everyone has forgotten about the indecision what they do the chameleon has to start to start planning they have they want to they want to do something but they have to give you what they want to do and then they help you to forget about it so everyone has forgotten about the indecision and immediately you forgot about the indecision because anyway even if you hold that market you're holding up to this take profit and they have told you this indecision candle it has a reason and you can see bear, bear, bears have started to come in and then we can see so what they are trying to do they are trying to show you no worry even we have broken above there's resistance bias still strong but this indecision candle is one red flag and the overall red flag is because you have a support this is the overall like this is exit 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 this was an exit with an with like uh you're not even sure but when support starts to break i'm just trying to show you you can have a very good ranging candle and you think ranging market and you're thinking oh it's time to buy but the market screams you're not buying so what happens is that the next candle we still have a range a, a, an indecision candle so we have two indecision candles we have the first one we have the second one we have sellers coming in but you see the overall exit is when the market breaks below if this market breaks below here like that i am good to go i will exit the market but before even you're given exit there are always red flags and in this case you have two candles and the market has started to range and then you can see we entered on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday a whole week nothing is happening in that tree nothing happened so let's see what happened uh the market continued to range and we are not exactly sure what does the market wants because already we have the support if they break support we are canceling this tree and after all it's said and done when you're given the red flags 
the two green candles are indecision candles. The what is follows it to tell you, come out. So if we had bought here, we are coming out with negative eight feet. So our exit is not as much. Okay. Our exit is not as much. Um, not as much. Why am I saying it's not much? Because we have realized that this trade doesn't really want to go up according to this ranging. There might be something that is making this market not to go. And that's why where chameleon keeps changing. So our chameleon was black. Now it's red. If you fail to realize your chameleon has changed, you will be saying, ah, it wants to retest this, this area. It will still go up. So you'll be ignorant. So that trade we have exited and we have ex exited with um, a drawdown of eight pips, not bad. And that day is Wednesday. So what happens is that there is no way we can go to do a weekly uh, analysis because it's on Wednesday. Once you exit the market, let the, the week ends. So Wednesday, this is Thursday because I am not, I'm not telling you that you should you should exit the buy and then you sell no because why are you even selling you know selling and you cannot just say I'm selling because the support has been broken that is not enough and you can see if you didn't come out uh when you were given an exit now you are draw down 89 pips and then next candle so this is the last candle of Friday so once you have this remember Pattern one was the ranging and it was so clear, but it never even went to TP1 and it has dropped. The market has dropped with a hundred pips, but good, you, you used your exit and I keep teaching you your exit. You have not gone down with those pips. So you're just watching. So that's why you say, let me go to the weekly time frame and chase. What really made this market to go down? And you will see the market was coming up very well. But when you look at your left, if you look at your left, you will see that we have a double top. And this is what made that market not to, to buy because the market was, was around a double top. And you see this, it had activated a double top. So it was too hard for this market to do what? To continue to buy. And they know they cannot activate a double top on the daily because you will see it. So they will use a time frame that you're not seeing. So if I go on the monthly, all I need to know is that is this double top OPT. So remember we have first pattern that is arranging. The chameleon has known, oh, we have known it's black. Now it has turned to be red. If I go to the monthly and I check, I do not have uh, an activation of the double, the double top. You can see here, these are red, red candles. Our double top is around here. It has not extended all the way. So that double top is OPT. If I, if I take this red, green, this is our double top, it has activated. Now, if this is our double top, where is our neckline, guys? This is our neckline. Can you see where it is? So this thing of saying TP1, oh, it will go down, it is gone. So the ranging holds no water. So I won't remove the pattern for you to see it. Now we have a double top inside a ranging, uh, a ranging inside a double top because ranging is inside there. The double top is the bigger one. So the market is saying, ah, we have activated double top. So use the strategy of the double top on the weekly and allow yourself to know if it is, this is a buy or a sell or it has given you a confirmation. Remember, double tops tells us to sell. And if we use WBB strategy, you remember we use WBB strategy for any time we want to enter the market. Number one signal we want is to look for a red candle. And this red candle, we check if it's very shengal. Have you checked if it is very shengal? This candle has engulfed the green one. Like sellers are coming in without playing. So you can imagine out of a ranging market, you're being told the market is going down to half, okay? So the market is going down to half. Now, what you thought was a, a, a bad thing, oh, I have canceled the trade. You see, sometimes we, the first 
attempt of us trading is never okay. Don't be comfortable attempting the first time to trade and hold those trades. Majority of time you will be wrong. So the time you see a pattern in the market, be assured, be so quick to close in case it gives you a, a red flag. Because majority of time, the first attempt, you are never right. You can imagine now this is a double top, very shengaf, and you're told you'll gain 155 pips. And this is weekly. So if you come here and sell, you are aiming for 155 pips. And you you every day you come to check if it has hit. So that is Monday. That is Tuesday. That is Wednesday. That is Thursday. And we have Friday. So the market for a whole week, it didn't take you on drawdown. In fact, the market went 113 pips, 113 pips. For a whole week, the market sold. And then the first week of the Monday, the Monday, the market did what? The market touched your take profit. So meaning, if you're still waiting on the ranging, you're still in denial, you can imagine this is what your ranging did. But what you don't know, that the market went and activated a double top on the weekly. So they have a reason. The market makers can never sell anything without a reason. So the market has been selling. Immediately it told you to buy, it has been selling 246 pips. And that's why majority of us, we blow account we give up on Forex because you're thinking, yeah, in this trade, I had analyzed, it was a ranging channel. Why did it just go against me? But the question is, did you realize that the chameleon has changed? You, you left it when it was black. Now our chameleon is red. So this chameleon, we have to wait. We have to wait for the market now for a whole week for the market to break half so that we can continue. So that is Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So the market breaks that half. And we know the strategy of the market breaking half is very simple. Now you can imagine, I have deleted for you to see, we have a double top. Here is our double top, guys. We have that double top. Remember we had a ranging. This was our ranging. This was pattern one. We had that ranging. That was pattern one. Pattern two, so pattern two is the double top. So the market has already changed. Pattern one, ranging. Pattern two, double top. So if you don't keep up, what, what will happen to you? So when we, when we look at the half, the market has already broken half. So it is trying to tell us we are even going down. So this market will go down. But you see, the chameleon is no longer red because if you think the market, now you will put yourself up to there to make 260 pips. You are very wrong. Why? Before you sell, you have to realize if chameleon has changed on you or not. Because majority of you, you will be selling to the neckline. Very easy. Oh, because I got 155 pips, let's sell. You see, here, there's nothing to tell you or to alert you that anything can happen because on weekly, there's nothing that you can see. But on the daily, that is not the case. On the daily, we have this zone that can be turned to a double bottom. Can you see? We have that, that zone. And not only one, we have even two. The market even can decide to come here. And if at all this double bottom is activated, what do you think? The chameleon will change from red now it will be green. So black, red, green. So the chameleon keeps changing. So what, what happens here is that you, you are just focusing on the ranging. The market activated double top on weekly. We are now back at the daily time frame. And already we know we will be using WBB. So we are waiting for green candle here. If it's bluish and gaps, let's first uh, measure. Let's first measure our half. So we know the market is, if it gives us an entry, it will be coming on top there. So at the end of the day, let's wait for that green candle. So we have a green candle. It's not engulfing. So you put a box. You remember WBB strategy, you put a box. Uh, immediately the market broke out. So it wants to activate this 
side and it has activated the last zone. So we will still do what? We will remove this and now wait on this. Unless they break out, unless they break out and they they violate this double bottom, we are not thinking of selling. Okay, guys. Now, uh, let's continue to see what happened. So we have a bullish angle. Imagine, anytime a pattern is being used to divert you from the right pattern, they don't struggle because they know majority, they are seeing a sell. They saw double top on weekly and they, everyone is selling. And this is a bullish angle. You can see this is a bullish angle. So what you do, you can say, let me buy up to here as I wait to see what is happening with that buy. Because I cannot sell. Yes, weekly wants me to sell, but the chameleon has changed. And we will go where the chameleon has changed. And now the pips that are above that half, they are more. That is 170, more than what even you are aspiring. Because to go to half, to, be, to go to the neckline, you want 286 pips. But remember, there are people who started to sell when it was way down. So the market is telling you, we were first have to go to 170. And this is where people get confused. Now, there are people who will take this as literally the only pattern they have. They don't know weekly how it had uh, wired everyone. So after the after the bullish uh, end gulf, we enter buy. In that market, you can see the market is buying easily uh, with no hesitation, and they have hit the tick. Okay, so you are not forgetting that on the weekly, you're not forgetting that on the weekly there is a double top, and this double top broke half. They have to go here. So the double bottom is the third pattern. Our chameleon is still changing. So where the market is, there are people who will never even know about the, the, the ranging, the double top on the weekly. They will be buying up to here. You, you're the one who is trapped. You'll come and see, oh, the market has broken half. Let me buy up to the neckline. Others will be like, I am waiting for this double top. If this double top gives me an entry, I will buy, I will sell. So majority of people who are looking at the daily, nobody will get what they are looking for because Chameleon, once it wants to change, it doesn't use the same time frame. It will always use a different time frame. That is a key thing to note. When a Chameleon wants to change, Chameleon, I mean, when the market wants to change from this pattern going up to go down, you have to look for a different time frame. So you are waiting for the red candle to appear and your market has done what the market is they have activated us uh, they have broken what is this they have broken that double top so there is no hope for the market uh to give us this double top so the only thing we can do if we want to buy let's go to four hour and get we don't have any pattern so if i go to four hour i don't know why the market is selling because the market, the pattern that is supposed to be activated is here. And this one, guys, is the fourth pattern. I will start again. We started on the daily ranging market. We went on the weekly. We had a double top. And then after double top broke half, we went on the daily. There was a hidden double bottom. Now the double bottom has broken half. It's like when they break half, something must happen. So we are on our third, fourth pattern and that is the double top so we wait to see if they will activate that pattern so we can see the market has assumed is selling if you sell with them you are at a loss because the market does, does not just sell like that so we will we are waiting to see if they will activate so you can see once they activate once they activate can you see they have activated that double top once they activate this double top, now pay attention. Pay attention because now Chameleon is ready now to start the journey. And majority of people have been trapped in selling. When they have seen the market has started to buy, they are now confused. Majority of people are confused. They don't know if the market wants to sell or to buy. Those who are stuck on the daily, 
they are on a place where it is ranging and they are hoping, oh, this double bottom will make the market go up to here. So they are still holding their buy. And you can see that double top is of T's dot C. So we have four patterns. And once you have that, you will use now C, uh, CSB. That is the pattern to use for, CSB is the pattern to use for the double top on four hour. And we have our support there. And this double top has a half. So we will observe what the market will do. So it has half there. So let me remove this. Let me remove that. So observe what the market will do. So we are really waiting to see, will they break the CES, the current support break they have broken? Now, imagine these were free pips. From there up to here, 113 pips. Those are free pips because majority have been, they are confused. Many people even don't know we are pattern four. They don't know. So let's see what happened after that. The market came. You can see when the market has given you a go ahead to sell, they don't waste time, they just sell. So the market ranges and eventually it breaks our half and we would have this double top, double bottom, but they break it and the market continued up to the neckline. So the question I'm asking you guys is that, can you see that double top? That was the last part. And if you can go on, you can go on up to the end. We started with now. I think I can I can show you um the double the double top on the weekly. You see the double top on the weekly. Can you see guys the half where it was? If we want to see, did they continue with the half? Did they continue with the half? Of course they did, and they hit the take profit. They have they made sure they have completed that pattern. They completed it. So if you are checking the double bottom on the daily, that's when we say, oh, these patterns, they don't work. Imagine I was trading the double bottom, it reached half, but it activated a new pattern. So I want to delete and show you how Chameleon work. So this is a story of the first pattern. That is our first pattern, arranging, it broke, but when it broke, it activated a double top. So this is a double top that was activated. And once this double top was activated, we knew the market will come up to the neckline, but we had some hindrances. Those hindrances are the ones that makes market makers make a lot of money because they trap people. So we have a double bottom there. So we have the third pattern was the, third, the double bottom. The, the second pattern was the double top. The first pattern was the ranging, and the third pattern was the double top on four hour. Now tell me, if you think Forex is that easy, you just come in and you don't pay attention, think twice, because all these patterns, they need someone who is paying attention. So you had so many patterns in one setup. They knew if we, we do this, we can be able to maximize uh, our profit and that's how to trade like a chameleon that's what i'm saying the chart a chameleon they will give you so many patterns you just need to know how to flip and majority of times if at all you see this double bottom and you come to a place where you're thinking will it go up as long as you can't see anything that market the answer is not in that time frame it is on the lower time frame okay guys so all the best guys in your trading. I hope it was helpful and you have understood. If you're still interested to buy my course, I have more knowledge, more wisdom to give you at only $1,000 um, per course. Bye-bye. Love you so much. God bless you.